What's up guys, Aaron here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at what is expected to be Apple's fall lineup of smartphones for 2019. The iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Max, and the iPhone 11 R. Welcome back, and I'm really excited to be sharing with you guys what we can expect to see in September when Apple releases their 2019 iPhone lineup. So starting from right to left, we have the iPhone 11 in black, the iPhone 11 R in black, and the iPhone 11 Max in silver or white. The new iPhones will retain their screen sizes, so the iPhone 11 will have a 5.8 inch screen, the iPhone 11 R will have a 6.1 inch screen, and the iPhone 11 Max will have a 6.5 inch screen. And the front of the new iPhones will look similar to last year's with an all new glass design. We'll also see the same size notch as well. However, inside of this notch this time around, we're expected to see an updated Face ID system as well as an updated camera for the front facing selfie camera which could be updated to a 12 megapixel camera. That'd be pretty cool if Apple does update the front facing camera as currently it is a 7 megapixel camera and they're rumored to update it to a 12 megapixel selfie camera. It's also been rumored that the iPhone 11 R will get an OLED screen rather than an LCD screen which would be an excellent choice. None of the I.O. has changed so all the ports are similar to last year's models with the power button being on the right with the mute switch and the volume up and down buttons being on the left and unfortunately we still have a lightning port rather than a USB type C port. Now on the back of the phones is where we'll see the big difference in this year's models. So the back has a square style camera module that houses a triple camera system. The triple camera array consists of a standard lens, a telephoto lens, and now an ultra wide angle lens. Now we can expect to see optical image stabilization with a large quad LED flash and a small microphone with one of the sensors acting as the primary one and will support optical image stabilization while the second one will house a telephoto lens that will offer two times optical zoom. Now regarding the third camera, reports suggest Apple wasn't able to include optical image stabilization but nevertheless it will feature a new super wide angle lens that will be sure to be an awesome addition in terms of photography. Although there still will be a camera bump, it's definitely the thinnest we've seen in a while. Now the iPhone 11 R will also receive an additional upgrade with the device now supporting two cameras instead of one, similar to this year's iPhone 10s and iPhone 10s Max. And as you can see, we also have a different placement for the flash. Along with the addition of this new camera system, we can also expect to see iOS 13, new processors, and also reverse wireless technology where you'll be able to wirelessly charge your Apple Watch or AirPods using the back of your iPhone. The iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Max, and the iPhone 11 R are all expected to be announced on September 12th with pre-orders expecting to start the same week with the actual launch on Friday, September 20th. And also a quick heads up, we could also see the next generation Apple Watch, the Apple Watch Series 5, as well as the new 10.0 inch iPad. There has also been some rumors going around that Apple could color match the surrounding area around the triple camera array. Now this was recently discovered by another YouTuber who also found out a couple other things that could possibly change, such as possibly a more iPad-like mute switch with the power button, mute switch SIM card tray and volume up and down buttons slightly lower than the current iPhones which are also lower than these prototypes. Here's a better look at how that placement is going to look on the iPhone 11 R. As you can see we have the two cameras followed by a microphone and flash. And here's the iPhone 10s Max next to the iPhone 11 Max and as you can see just how much bigger that tile like square like camera array system is going to look. In my opinion, I wouldn't be disappointed if the camera system looked like this. Apple has in the past always blacked out their cameras just like they have currently on the 10s Max and the 10s. So it does make sense to see the camera system completely blacked out on the 11 Max. However, I have heard once again that they will be color matching possibly the back of the cameras, which also looks pretty cool as well. Let me know down in the comments section below which way you think looks better. With a few things that I've mentioned already that we can expect to see in the new iPhone 11, 11 Max, and iPhone 11 R, 
such as the reverse power share technology feature, as well as the new triple camera array system, and with the iPhone 11R getting that dual camera setup. Are those things going to be enough for you to upgrade from your current device? Let me know down in the comments section below. Here's a closer look at just how much lower the buttons are on this prototype model than the original. And the power button seems to line up pretty good. And on the bottom, the lightning port as well as both speaker grills also line up. And speaking of properly lining up, my previous video was a case that I got sent from Armadillo Tech for an iPhone 11 Max. Now obviously the iPhone 11 Max hasn't came out yet. However, with this iPhone 11 Max prototype, I went ahead and threw it in the case, and as you can see, the camera system lines up perfectly. And I'd also have to say that it doesn't look too bad. The cutouts on the bottom of the case, the lightning port, and two speaker grills line up with the prototype. So does the mute switch, volume up and down buttons, as well as the power button. This appears to be an excellent case for the iPhone 11 Max, by the way, and if you happen to miss that video, I will go ahead and leave it linked down in the video description. Now, although there isn't a huge upgrade here other than the camera systems and the wireless power share feature, I am pretty excited for September and to get the new iPhone in my hands. Now, a wide angle lens, in my opinion, is a great addition and it's something that Apple has been behind on where other cameras are shining these days with that wide angle lens. Now, if everything works out correctly, I should be getting the other units that I was talking about with the color match triple camera system in the back. If I do get those units, I will go ahead and make a video, an updated video, showing you guys that particular camera system as well. Now again, I'm not disappointed in this style camera system. I don't think it looks bad, especially on the black version. But once again, I'd like to know your guys' opinion. I'm also thinking about giving away an iPhone 11 Max. If that's something that you would like to see, be sure to smash that like button down below and share this video. And you know what, if we reach a thousand likes on this video, I will give away an iPhone 11 S Max. So, once again, if you're interested, hit that like button. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like rating down below, and also subscribe to the channel to be notified of future content. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron, and I'll see you guys on the next one.